And the state-backed citizens' property insurance is eyeing a rate hike and right now holding a public hearing in Tallahassee. Tintaba Bay's Aaron Parsegian takes a look at why the costs continue to climb. At this time, I'd like to call the Citizens Property Insurance Corporation. The state's supposed insurer of last resort is now the biggest property insurer in Florida. And in Tallahassee Thursday, Citizens Top Brass advocated for a rate hike, on average roughly 14% more for most. We take asking for a rate increase very seriously. Citizens CEO Tim Sirio says rising rates is necessary to keep them afloat and bring competition to the whole market. Being able to charge actuarially sound rates is critical to market recovery and promoting depopulation. Citizens rates are artificially low. The number of citizens policyholders has doubled in the past two years and will soon reach 1.3 million. That tells us that many consumers are still having difficulties finding coverage in the private market. The problems with property insurance continue despite special legislative sessions aimed at chipping away at the issue. In the past year, more private insurers have gone under. Citizens has taken on more policies and rates have been increasing for everyone. While there's been a lot of reforms put in place in recent months, it takes time for those reforms to show positive trends in the marketplace. And the proposed 14% hike for citizens policyholders will be a lot less than what other insurers expect to increase premiums by in the coming months. At this point, we have no definitive timetable when we will begin to see signs of a stable market. Aaron Parsegian, 10 Tampa Bay. You do have until June 22nd to offer public comment on the proposed rate changes. They would go into effect for new and renewed policies in November. On our 10 Tampa Bay app, we do have a link to see how much your policy could increase.